Xavas viewers, welcome back to our channel Apex Xavas. These are the continuation of Mules of our Salesforce developer sessions and we are in second part of error handling. So far we have covered on error propagate and on error continue and we have seen three rules rule 1, rule 2, rule 3 and we have seen the behavior of on error propagate and on error continue on what kind of output it will give like body and the status codes. So please try to do hands on to understand more about error handling as it is really important for certification point point of view for examination for interview point of view and also in real time projects all right as we have seen like on error to continue and on error propagate then what is raise error for okay we'll see so this component raise error generates a mule error as if a failure had occurred which allows you to customize its description and type so far when we dragged and dropped some connectors right we see like by default mule gives like whatever that particular connector raises what kind of errors that it will raise but if there is any reason that you wanted to raise an error within the flow because of some logic for example if you're not finding any order for for example you are trying to do a select query and you know that database is returning zero zero rows okay zero rows will not give any any error it's kind of a success output right with zero errors but you still wanted to raise it as a customized error then you can make use of this component raise error okay so use this component only to raise core runtime errors such as like security connectivity etc okay then uh, the error types example it has to be something like order colon invalid or you can give any name except you cannot use a connectors existing namespace only the namespace when i say connectors existing namespace that means http this one http colon and item not found item not found is fine that is a customized error but http already there is there are like identifiers for http so that is not allowed so what is allowed is or this is not allowed so item not found this is a valid one got it so item here is the namespace which is like a customized name that we have given i can write sravan underscore not found also okay but you should not use http db or salesforce because these are already existing errors th that are identified by on error propagate and on error continue all right and uh, next thing that i wanted to show you in the hands-on we will go through hands-on like uh, after uh, going through these slides that is try and until successful the name itself says like try and until, until successful are the scopes that are handled at connector level so far we have seen on error propagate and on error continue are at flow levels correct for the whole flow we are having error handling block where we are dragging and dropping on error propagate and continue and this try and successful are at the connector level okay we will see that and on hands on so you can wrap one or more components or connectors within try or until successful blocks okay these are scopes that's why this doesn't come actually under error this thing it comes under scopes all right so it will be something like here uh, like this connect when i say at connector level usually we have dragged and dropped on error propagate and continue within error handling right here you can have try and until successful and within try also you have another error handling place where you can drag and drop on error continue and on error propagate i will show you what it is all right so until successful until successful retries for all kind of errors until successful the name itself says suppose for example you are trying to connect to salesforce okay and salesforce is down for few seconds okay when it is down for few seconds and there is a request that is coming in there will be a connectivity issue now in real time scenario understand like this you are trying to hit something and you are getting connectivity error just because there is a five second disturbance from salesforce what you can do you can retry the request by for connecting salesforce for pr probably two or three times by then the salesforce will be up and you know you will get the success response correct so those kind of things are called uh, for, for those kind of things you will be using until successful okay so make sure when you use it for http request component especially okay until successful retries for all kind of errors so make sure when you use it for http request component especially i'll tell you why and the error type for until successful is mule under mule colon retry exhausted let me try to make it more clear mule underscore retry exhausted let me change the text as well okay this looks good so 
mule underscore retry is assisted is the after means after all until successful all retries right it will be up then when uh, when error continue is used within try block then it will go to the next processor in the same flow when an error propagate is used it follows the rules of general error handling rule 1 rule 2 rule 3 okay i'll show you the difference there all right for m units it is very important to have try and error continue combination this statement you can ignore because this is not really important for the beginners level all right so error handling priority okay the error handling has its defined precedence you know which comes first all right the error that is handled at connector level takes first precedence okay followed by the flow level then followed by the global level and finally default level this is the precedence if you are having error handling at the connector level first it first the error handling goes to the connector level and then it goes to the if there is error raised again it will go to the uh, flow level and then to the global level all right so i haven't shown you how to configure global level error handler but i will show you okay so priorities of error handler as i said correct connector level is the first priority second priority is the flow level third priority is the project level and the last priority is the default okay if you're not mentioning anything then only it will go to the default level let's do some hands-on on it so let's start with raise error okay Mm, let's do one thing okay uh, let let this flows be here and I will drag and drop another HTTP listener somewhere here okay so double click on it I will name it something like razor okay I'm raising an error let me stop my application it is running from a long time and uh, so what I will try to do is okay let me do this I will drag and drop a payload I'll say payload as number and uh, probably okay I, I'll just keep payload for now in choice router I, I'll drag and drop a choice router and say like if payload equal to equal to Apple if payload not equal to Apple let me say like that okay payload not equal to Apple what I want to do I want to raise an error to to check the raise error component right you can search it here 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 is the raise error drag and drop here clear this right raise error this is the raise error component now I told you right you have to define the customized error if I say something like HTTP colon uh, not underscore apple and description the fruit is not apple if I do like this and in like default I will say like it is apple or whatever it is I can drag and drop this one set payload and I can give some dummy message saying that it is Apple so what will happen see when I'm deploying this application what I have done raise error I use the namespace of existing HTTP you know existing components namespace okay what will happen you see let me debug the application and keep a debugger breakpoint first of all let's see whether the application itself will deploy or not because according to our statement that we provided here you cannot use a connectors existing namespace which means http whatever you should not be using it right let's see if our applications get okay let me restart my anypoint studio to restart your anypoint studio just go to like this and restart
let's see if our studio is open yeah let me try to because if you face any problem you can always restart your any point studio that is the best way there is some issue with my this thing yeah can you see here it is failing to execute because namespace is already exists this is the issue okay http not apple we cannot keep http as the namespace because it is already an existing one instead of what i will say like fruit not apple okay i can give some my dummy just to it is just to raise an error okay raise it right click debug it so it is not even building it the build itself is failing always when we run an application first thing what it will do is it will build the application it will generate a jar file and then the jar file will be deployed but here the jar file itself is failing now let's see how the raise error works so my application is deployed now i am trying trying to send the request oh this is error one that i am trying to send right so let me resume this is the another example so our http listener was this one so what is the path that i have given it's raise error copy it let me first put it here this will be more convenient for me paste it send it now see the magic here so what i'm trying to do set payload my payload while is empty okay and as this is not equal to apple now see what will happen next it is raising an error and immediately an error object is created just like how we have uh, seen before and see the error type now fruit colon not apple so i am customizing my error message with different namespace here all right and you can see the description the fruit is not apple and this will raise an error again here and you can see the fruit is not apple and it is going for 500 error so it behaves like on error propagate but this is kind of customized on error propagate you can say all right raise error is to raise a customized error got it so this is one thing that i wanted to show for raise error next thing is a uh, try block so try block what we can do is we can use existing example here somewhere here so what i can do is i i can drag and drop the try block from here okay drag and drop here and keep the requester inside that means we are this is at connector level i told you right this is at connector level now one thing you have to observe so if i minimize this we have error handling here at the flow level and we have error handling at the connector level try block here we have one error handling and but both of the uh, both the functionality of both error handlings is the same but uh, what comes into picture the precedence right the whatever precedence i was talking about first priority is at connector level second priority is at flow level third priority at project and next default so what i will try to do is i will keep this on error continue as it is and let me keep on error propagate first drag and drop on error propagate i will drag another so again all three rules will be applied every time so you have to get used to those three rules drag and drop the logger as well i'm just putting a logger because i wanted to show that it executes all components i can say like uh, error occurred in try block all right so now see the drama again let me save it so that it will restart the application okay so my application is up and running now let me send error one 
because this is where we started right so see how it is flowing next flow reference it is going here now it will go inside the try block okay try there is an error occurred now earlier when there was no try block what it used to do is this error occurred okay rule one is like whether we have error handling over here or not so it used to go here but now the first priority at all right the first precedence is at connector level so first the rule one will we have to check is whether there is any error handling present in this uh, this block or not yes it is present and then check if that error type what is the error type right now the error type is HTTP connectivity. See if this HTTP connectivity is handled here. If nothing is mentioned, I told you like by default, it will handle all types. So yes, it is handling. So it will go to this inside of block and see now it is executing this payload and the, my current payload value is error occurred in try block. Now my question is whether it will go to this calling flow or it will go to this flow, right? according to the, our rules again rule three right you can see here next it is raising an error on the try block now okay this is how you have to check very simple now see the connect error type http connectivity yes now our rule one rule two rule three again applies on top of this because this is at this whole connector level itself on try block now rule one rule two rule three okay there is error handling and error handling is error type http connectivity is handled here because if you are not mentioning any type by default it will accept everything it goes next to this on error continue go next uh, because this is on error continue according to rule 3 it will not raise an error back to the calling flow rather it will go to the next connector of that flow reference because it is on error continue so go next it is going here and next and next clear it is success but one thing i wanted to tell you whenever you are using a try blog you usually don't go with er on error propagate because using try block with on error propagate or using without try block just like this like keeping requester separately is one and the same it, it behaves the same way so no one usually use a try block with on error propagate you should always go with try and on error continue but if you ask a question can't we use you can use but what is the use of using on error propagate with try block so now i am trying to do is i am keeping on error continue and see the drama over here okay i'm saving my application let's run it So I have deployed, uh, my application is deployed. Now let me send the request again and see how it behaves now. So next, 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 error occurred. According to our rules, it will go inside, irrespective of on error propagator continue, it will go inside, execute all the components. Now, what is the behavior of on error continue? I told like on error continue will consider that error has occurred, but that error is like, it's, it's okay, the error is fine. I am continuing, right? And it will not raise an error. Remember, I was when I'm talking about this on error continue, what did I say? It will not raise an error to the calling flow. Rather, it will go to the next processor because there is no error. In this case also, similarly, see the behavior. It is going to next, next connector because this on error continue is at the connector level. There was an error occurred at this connector and we are trying to eradicate or remove that error using try and on error continue so that it will not go, it will not skip this process, whatever process is there here. Got it? See the difference between of using try block now, right? So go next. What is the current payload success in private flow? And of course, it will override with this transform message, whatever is there, success, logger, and you can see it is success. So usually try blocks on try blocks are used with combination of on error continue so that whenever there is an error at connector level, it will skip that error and go to the next processor. But if it was on error propagate, it would have gone here and this is on error continue it would have gone here and gave the success clear everyone so this is the behavior of try and on error continue now what i will do is i will keep try block for a moment separately okay and remove this and let's understand the concept of until successful 
all right until successful so just either you can right click and go to wrap in and you can find all the types of scopes here so even tri block you should you should have done like this that is also a, a doable thing but if you are not finding that if you are finding this as difficult you can always go to your mule palette and try to drag and drop that connector i will show that for you as well so what is the name of that until successful so until successful and keep the requester inside until successful okay and open the until successful here here it will show you like maximum retries and how many milliseconds between the retries so for now what i'm trying to say is please retry for three times for every one second or so okay that is my request so what until successful the name itself what it will do is it will try to retry so one time we got connectivity error maybe within that those few seconds probably it will be up and running and then it might be connected correct so let's do that yes my application is deployed right now we i cannot show you a success scenario because i am not actually connecting to any external system but what you can do is go i just wanted to show how it will raise an error so it is going inside the http requester for the first time it gave error okay this is one time it is running error sending request to this now see next okay next again it has raised error can you see here attempt of one of three means it is attempt so original request is one time plus three retries total four times it will try to retry connecting to this http request all right again it is saying error next it will wait for 10 seconds okay again it is retrying we can check the logs attempt two of three okay there is one more attempt after three attempts it will see at the end of the day if it is not connecting after three attempts also it has to come back right but you will see a different thing so attempt three of three is done okay now what will happen right now the error type is http connectivity yes http connectivity but once you come out of until successful the error type what it will do the error type changes to mule retry exhausted okay this is a different error that's what i have shown you here mule retry exhausted so whenever we are retrying for more than whatever defined times and even after retrying it is exhausted that's why this namespace is mule underscore re exhausted and now rule one rule two rule three applies similarly like on error continue next 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 it's common okay usually when we use until successful is whenever there is some connectivity kind of issues we might not know whether it will like we might know that it will be up due to some interim issues there will be like five seconds of uh, you know or even like 20 seconds of uh, you know the application went down for 20 seconds but it will be up then you can define your timing here right now i gave 10 seconds you can give like 10 seconds or 20 seconds and you can retry five number of times here if you give like three it will be three if you give for five it will be five okay so that is the concept of until successful so so far we have seen until successful and try and all that i wanted to show the next one is the priority here so far we have discussed that you know flow level so i'll explain you again everything whatever i am doing here is flow level error handling because this error handling is for the entire flow all this this connector this connector this connector so that error handling is for the entire flow and whatever you are doing here earlier we used try block right wrap in and um, try block here this one this is at connector level okay this is at connector level so let me add again the try block let me keep it outside delete it so let me add on error propagate so that i can show you the difference okay transform message error in error in try block all right error in try block then 
so this is at connector level that is the first priority and this is the flow level that is the second priority and third one is something i told you right that is global level error handling so how to define global level error handling it's very simple so what you can do is i can create another flow I, I, or i can show you here itself to search for error handler this is the global ever error handler okay so paste it here I can say like common error handler which means here we cannot place a place any HTTP connector or something like this okay we can place only the on error propagate and on error continues so I will say like on error propagate I will place it on error continue I will place it okay and I will show you one more interesting thing so in both of the types what I will give I will give connectivity okay if here nothing will be shown because it is a global error handler okay here nothing will be shown because it is it is a global error hand global error handler so i will just type http colon connectivity i can even type it all right let me copy this and uh, or i can for that matter i can give anything like any okay let me save it and uh, transform message let me drag and drop here i will write something like error occurred in global error handler on error propagate okay this is one i'll copy the same thing drag and drop another transfer message here and paste it here and this is on error continue and one thing i wanted to do is i will remove this success connector here success transfer message because it will confuse like it will not show you the difference okay now we have common error handler right but this is not just enough if you are defining a common error handler additionally there is one thing that you have to do go to global elements go to global elements create a new element called global configurations here open this global configuration double click on this configuration not configuration properties that is different one but the configuration by default it will ask you the default error handler if you drop down it will automatically show you the common error handler flow because it is a global error handler okay very simple i will try to show you again delete i will delete this create global configurations double click on this configuration and choose your common error handler you can have as many error handlers as you want but you can create only one global error handler now we will see which will take the the precedence right which will go first which will go second etc okay let me save it let me stop my application let me debug it and see what happens again if you do hands on you will get to know okay like it's consider this like uh, riddles and puzzles then you it will be easy for you to understand so it is deployed okay so let me run and please observe carefully i will be a bit slow now next next this is all you have seen type block error occurred according to our rules the first priority is at connector level now what will happen go next okay error raised next priority will it go to this common error handler no why because the second priority is at flow level the flow level is this one this flow okay on error continue go next my latest payload is on error continue private flow but as this is on error continue it will call it will not raise an error to the calling flow rather it will go to the next connector of the calling flow so my next connector of the calling flow is logger and there is no error now so that is the reason it will not go inside this error handling okay it will just resume it 
now the payload is uh, error occurred in the private flow so now what if i change this particular on error continue to on error propagate i will do that immediately so very simple go to on error propagate drag and drop on error propagate here put this down delete it save it let it get redeploy i have wanted to show you the behavior like how it will generate errors and all how it will go to next global error handler and all so yes now i will send the request next 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 error occurred on error propagate according to rule 1 rule 2 rule 3 now error is generated according to this it will go to the next error next as this is on error propagate it will raise an error to the calling flow it is going to the error to the column flow now there is flow reference here right now again rule 1 rule 2 rule 3 what is the con first is connector level i don't see any error handling at connector level what is the next level it is at flow level so it will go to the flow level on error continue next next it will not go to the logger here this logger will not be executed because on error continue will go to the calling flow so here no one is calling except this postman so your current payload value is error occurred in the mail flow that is nothing but this one now what if i delete this on error continue what if i delete this on error continue what will happen we'll see that earlier flow reference got error and there is no one at connector level so it is looking for flow level and now there is no one here in the flow level now it should go to the global error handler okay sense the request next 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 error occurred at connector level there is someone who can handle that at the connector level so it is going there executing there now error occurred at this connector now it will go at the flow level there is someone who can handle this at flow level go next go next it is now raising at this flow reference connector now still my error type is http connectivity now there is no one to handle at connector level here okay and also there is no one at the flow level okay in this case what is happening if i go next it is taking you to the global error handling which is nothing but project level okay global means global level means project level okay and why it is going to on error propagate and on or not to on error continue whatever comes first whatever you are placing first if that is getting handled just like the choice router it will go inside this now you see the drama error occurred in global error handler on error propagate that is the precedence but we didn't cover the default ones right so to cover the default ones i will just remove uh so let me can delete this and for on error propagate instead of connectivity i will give bad underscore request save it because on error continue will not go here then we will see what will happen it will go to the global error handler okay so it is started now you can send the request now you will see the drama here next next it is it is handling at the connector level next it is can, can, uh, handled at the flow level now there is no one to handle at the connector level here there is no one to handle at the uh, flow level and even there is no one to handle at the global level because this is bad request but you are getting connectivity http connectivity in that case what will happen is it will just exit and gives default it goes to default error handler okay how to even check if it is going to default error handler i will make a small change so that you can understand so here output text plain dash 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 error dot description now you will understand more clearly what is default
okay it is started now now this is the last attempt that i'm going to give just to show you different different things so error occurred handled at the connector level error occurred handled at the flow level error occurred there is no one to handle at the connector level there is no one to handle at the flow level and there is no one to handle at the common error handler and as so what it will do it will go to global default error handling default error handling is nothing but in http listener responses tab whatever is there in the error response like error dot description that will be printed as your payload output and the status code will be 500 and error dot description is something like this and this will be printed now you can see next this is what it is printing so this is the error handling priority so guys so far what we have covered in error handling session is types of error handling on error propagate on error continue raise error and three rules to understand how error handling can be done this is more this is again these rules are created by me it's not official rules so don't go by official things um, try until successful error handling priority level like connector flow level project level or global error handling is one of the same and the default level practice with as many scenarios as you want that will help you to understand this concept so please do follow us on all social media platforms of apex hours and also on mules of tech zone this is my youtube channel and you can follow me on linkedin as well this is ravan Ningam signing off for this session see you in the next session thank you